Tens of thousands of families unable to pay their rent due to COVID hardships could soon face eviction. Thanks for being here. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampour. It is now 6 o'clock. Our state's eviction moratorium expires at midnight. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live along Harbor Island to explain what will be happening. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Eric and Nana. Now, the issue here is if you are a renter unable to pay due to COVID related issues, you did have protections. But starting tonight at midnight, those are completely taken away and landlords could evict you. And I pray and I pray to God that that they'll do something for this program, that they'll do something for our people, because this was supposed to help people not have people like this. Now we just heard from Imperial Beach resident Patricia Mendoza still waiting for $9,000 in rental assistance from the state. The mother of two has already received an eviction lawsuit from her landlord. Currently, there are more than 85,000 rental households who applied for COVID rental assistance from the state, but they're still waiting on answers. Experts say it's highly unlikely that the state is going to be able to get through all of these applications by June 30th. That's tonight. So that means people will be waiting in line and they will expose to evictions. Now, several nonprofits dedicated to protecting renters are not keeping quiet. They filed a lawsuit against the state to challenge more than 150,000 denials for rent relief, which is about one out of every three applicants. This nonprofit shares that tenants are not giving reasons why they're not having this rental assistance or they're being denied. So it's hard to have that appeal process. Now, CBSA reached out to the state to see if the current eviction moratorium protection for applications could be extended be beyond July 1st, but we haven't received any response from the state yet. So right now at midnight, that's when landlords will be able to give eviction notices to their tenants if they have not paid due to COVID related incidents. For any further information, you could help. Head to CBS8.com, click that help button, and they'll have resources for you. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from downtown San Diego.